A jury found Wayne Braddy and Carl Willis guilty of killing 13-year-old Maurice Purify more than 23 years ago. In all that time, the men have professed their innocence. Tomorrow afternoon, their legal journey will end. They will return to court to take Alfred pleas to lesser charges, and they're expected to be released from prison. Lead investigator Brian Duggar takes a look back at how we got here. On June 15, 1998, Maurice Purify died on a street in central Toledo, shot in the chest and multiple times in the head. He was full of life. He always had, um, always make you laugh. I don't care what. You never knew when he was mad. After 26 hours of jury deliberation, Braddy and Willis were convicted of the death. It was like my spirit fainted away or away from or inside my body. You know what I mean? Like I was standing there. But it was just like my, my spirit just, just. Carl Willis. Yes. How you doing? How are you? Carl Willis is an innocent man. I didn't have no ties to this case, don't have no ties to this case. I send my condolence to the Maurice family, but I'm not responsible for Maurice's death. In 2019, 11 investigates got involved in the case. What we found was no evidence linking the men to the killing. No reliable witnesses, no motive, little defense from their appointed attorneys. Other suspects were let go. It was such a thin case that lead detective Bart Beavers said prosecutors accomplished the unthinkable. Our months long investigation was enough to convince the jury foreman that there needed to be another trial. Over having read back through everything, seeing the recanting and testimony, um, seeing some of the things that weren't presented back then, uh, some of the evidence that's missing, you know, finding out about a lot of different things. Uh, I personally would love to see them get another opportunity to plead their case. Only one person, Travis Slaughter, was willing to say the men were involved. Best thing I know when I look, I seen a crowd had a gun, so it's going to the trigger. In return, he was given a plea deal in the killing and an unrelated rape. And after our story aired, he told us it was all a lie. Did you kill Maurice Purify? No, I did not kill Maurice Purify. Were you with anyone who killed Maurice Purify? No, I was not. For, do you, for to the best of your knowledge, did Wayne and Carl have anything to do with the death of Maurice Purify? No, they did not. No, Wayne and Carl did not have anything to do with the killing of Maurice Purify. In that interview, he punched the biggest hole in the prosecution's case. At the time of the murder, he said the men weren't even in contact because of a fight and falling out over clothes. And all three men, separated for more than 20 years, told the same story. And he said it explained his lie to police. So you hated him at that point. Yeah. You were really yeah. angry with him. Yes, and you I was very upset. Back. I was, you know. At 17 years old, I'm like, I'm gonna get him. Ultimately, that interview with Travis Slaughter became part of the motion for a new trial. And that push eventually became the reason that the prosecutor's office reached out with this deal. Tomorrow afternoon, that deal should take place and Wayne Braddy and Carl Willis should walk free at last. Reporting in Toledo, this is Brian Duggar for WTUL 11.